everybody, it's Tammy, and Coco's here too. We are having a super blustery, rainy day, so rainy that even Coco didn't want to go outside. Super chilly, um, yeah, actually the tips of my fingers are cold, my nose is cold, so it's a perfect day to have some tea because we need to warm up our core. So I'm just about to do just that, so I thought I would turn on the camera and show you what I'm enjoying. So what I'm about to have is this coconut flavored black tea from Tea Queens, and it's a brand new bag. I have never tried this yet, so you're gonna see me try it for the first time. And I'm using my automatic tea brewer. Yes, hi Coco. Oh, kisses, thank you. So it's as easy as just using this perfect cup of tea spoon. Oh, Coco, <laughs> so many kisses. Oh my goodness. You know what, I just put some lotion on. I put on some frankincense and mandarin lotion from Neil's Yard Remedies. So I think that's why she's going crazy looking at my arm. She wants the frankincense. She wants the frankincense and the mandarin, huh? Yeah, she has good taste. She has good taste, so you can see her better. Yeah. She wants to be on camera. Okay. All right, this is enough. I'm gonna to have to make sure I don't put on uh, the lovely cream before doing a video. Okay, so we just go ahead and we pour our water right in here. And what's so cool about this automatic tea brewer is that it makes a perfect pot of tea every time because it holds the tea in this chamber right here and down below is a small little hole with a filter and it releases the tea at just the right rate. So your tea is inside this chamber and it's freely circulating. It's able to dance. You always want your tea leaves to be able to dance. So you have lots of room in there and it's just releasing the tea through that hole at just the right amount of time, which means your tea leaves are in the water for just the right amount of time and you don't ever have to worry about that. So your tea is released into this bottom pitcher here and then it's ready to pour. And when you order it, it comes with this little cup which has a little spout, very nice for pouring. So when you know your tea is done steeping, you'll, hear, you'll, you'll no longer hear the little trickle of the tea, you simply place this on this cup so you have a nice place to set that down and then you're ready to pour from your pitcher. So it's a really nice set and it's great for just foolproof tea. Uh, if you're like me, you can start a pot of tea and then life happens, the doorbell rings, the phone rings, somebody needs your attention, and it pulls you away from your tea making for a little bit. And then it's easy to forget that you had tea going. And if you keep your tea leaves in the water for too long, you can end up with a very bitter cup of tea because you don't want to oversteep true tea any tea that's from the Camellia sinensis plant. So that would be black tea, oolong tea, green tea, uh, white tea, pu'er tea. Hey Coco, come here. She's barking at somebody. Coco, come here, hi. So yes, you don't wanna oversteep those teas from the true teas. Now, if you're using a herbal tisane, those can be in water for much longer and you don't usually have to worry about oversteeping. But for your true teas from the Camellia sinensis plant, you definitely want to watch the time. So this takes care of that for you. So as you can see, my tea has filtered through here, and what I'm left inside of this chamber is just the lovely tea leaves, and it's beautiful because you can look inside and you can see how they have unfurled, and you can really take in the aroma of the, the tea. It's just so beautiful. So I'm just going to move this right over here. And now I'm going to go ahead and pour my cup of tea. So it's that easy. And with some teas, you can even re-steep them. So I wouldn't do that with a flavored tea like this. I would use these tea leaves and then if I wanted more, I would put more tea inside here. I would, I would dispose of this in my compost and I would put more fresh tea in here. However, if you're using uh, certain white teas and green teas, uh, you can re-steep those. Pu'er teas, oolong teas, you can definitely re-steep those 
same tea leaves that you just used. So that's another nice thing to know. All right, let's give this a try. This is, once again, our coconut flavored black tea. And it smells fantastic. I just when I opened up the package here, oh my gosh, the smell of the coconut was just so lovely. And you can see little bits of coconut right inside the tea there. And it is in fact, um, queen selected black tea, coconut pieces and flavoring. And this does contain caffeine. So we'll go ahead and give this a try. Oh, that's lovely. Really nice. Mmm. You know, it's it's very real tasting. There's nothing artificial about it. Um, the coconut is not overpowering. And for a black tea, it's actually not too strong at all. No bitterness whatsoever. It's not too astringent. And I love that about all of our teas. I haven't encountered a Tea Queen's tea yet that's been bitter. So they always make a lovely cup. So I definitely would recommend this. If you're a coconut fan, this is a lovely tea. I think this would also be really nice to put a little bit of coconut milk in there. And if you're someone that likes some sweetener, that would be, it would make a really decadent sort of a tea treat that way really nice okay so i wanted to try this tea in front of you i wanted to definitely sing the praises of this automatic tea brewer this is if you're new to tea and just starting out and nervous about making a good cup i highly recommend one of these uh, it's really great for all of the true teas black teas green teas oolong pu'er white tea uh, they do fantastic in here because they are held in this chamber with the water hot water for just the right amount of time really can't make any mistakes with that and this was actually made by a man here who had a local tea cafe named jason chen and i think the world of jason he's an incredible man actually my pot came from his cafe called smacha which is no longer uh, in business he does have um, an online presence and he does a lot of wholesale so he sells these pots to tea queens so mine says smacha on it yeah on that side too but the one that you get would be just plain white, but they are Jason's invention. He uh, has this, I don't know if it's patented yet or if it's in process, but this is definitely his design to have this um, automatic tea brewer and the filter and release that just makes the perfect, perfect cup. So be sure to check that out. So the other thing that I thought I would share today, I was thinking about tea storage and I have a list of do's and don'ts here that I'd like to share with you. I think these could be really helpful. Okay, so I have three do's and three don'ts. Okay, so the first do is to make sure that you store your tea in an airtight container, uh, such as a tin, like these here, or you want a bag that has a tight seal, a nice tight Ziploc seal, because basically you don't want any air getting into your tea. That's so important. It'll make your tea go stale. So our tins are lovely because they have kind of a two layer system here. There's the cap, but then on top of that, you have this lid, which is a really nice tight seal. You see that's not going anywhere. And it's completely blocked uh, from any air getting in or even light. And so this just snaps off so you could see that took a little bit of effort. That's a nice tight seal and your tea is kept fresh in there. Mm. Oh, this is another one of my favorites. This is the uh, Russian Caravan and this is a uh, combination of Queen Selected Assam, Kimun, and Pine Smoked Chinese Souchong Black Tea. So it's got a really nice smokiness from that Lapsong Souchong and this is a black tea blend. Super nice. So the other neat thing about our tins, I think I've showed you this before, my son helped me discover this. They actually stack on top of each other. So if you're pinched for storage, you could always elevate your storage and uh, build up if you don't have the width available. So I think that's a pretty neat feature. So tins, because they're definitely a nice safety seal and they block from light or a nice bag that has a good seal on it. So we want airtight. Okay, that was tip number one. Number two is to store your tea in a cool, dry place. Cool, dry place. Tip number three, keep tea away from heat. 
Yes, you don't ever want to leave your tea in an area where you have the sun shining on it. Uh, you don't want to keep it right in sunlight. So, you know, a windowsill, of course, would not be a good place to put tea or even, you know, I know lots of kitchens now have like the open cupboard concept and it's very pretty, but you wouldn't want to put your tea out there if you had sunlight shining on that. You want to think more of a like a dark, cool cupboard. Uh, and that's why I like the tin so much because there's no light getting in here at all and there's no air getting in here. So this is my number one top pick if you want the best tea storage. And then number two would be a pouch like this. That's great. Um, and I never have these out anywhere, like I said, where, where sun is shining on them. Mine are actually in an open um, cabinet sort of a setup, but like I said, there's no sunlight. We live in a house that's surrounded by so many trees, so we don't really have to worry about that so much. But when I store them, I store them with this side out. This side has more of the see-through plastic, which is great because you can see the tea inside there. Um, but yeah, I just put that back in the back and that way it's protected from any light as well. Okay, now let's move on to our don'ts. So it's pretty much the opposite of my do's. So you don't want to store tea without a lid or an airtight seal. So for example, you don't want to use a paper bag. You know, sometimes we might buy things in bulk and that's great. You could purchase your items in a paper bag, but then when you get them home, make sure you transfer your tea to a tin. Don't leave your tea stored in a paper bag. And same thing for a wooden box. And the reason is you basically don't want there to be any way for moisture to get in because moisture is not a friend to tea unless it's hot water when you're ready to make your tea. Otherwise moisture uh, well, it would make your tea go stale or it could even make it go moldy. So we don't want that. Okay, tea break. Okay, another don't is you don't want to store your tea in a cabinet that is above your stove top because that's a heating source, of course. Or if you have an oven that's built into a wall that maybe the cabinets around there tend to get warm, just make sure wherever you're storing tea, there's no heat source around that at all that would cause that area to have an elevated temperature. Okay, my third tip, uh, don't rather, you don't want to um, store your tea inside your fridge. So I know we've talked about heat, but you equally don't want to put the tea inside the fridge. And that would go back to that moisture reason where there could be condensation and because you know things can get a little bit more moist in the fridge and uh, it's just too cold for the tea leaves and you could create more of a, a moldy environment or a stale environment. So you want to think dry and you want to think cool and you want to think away from sunlight when it comes to storage and most importantly you want to think airtight. Okay so I hope those tea storage tips have helped you today and uh, one thing that I found interesting I was doing a little reading about tea and did you know that in America tea is found in four out of five households currently which I think is completely awesome because it does feel like tea is really growing in popularity and I think it's such a fantastic alternative to sugary drinks such as pop, soda, or even juices. The other day I did a video on rooibos, which is not technically a true tea. It's from the red bush in South Africa, and there's no caffeine. So if you find that your kids are really drawn towards sugary drinks, you know, juice blends, juice boxes, um, and maybe even pop or sodas, try and steer them towards rooibos teas because you can make those even iced in the fridge and they are just so fantastic. Rooibos is naturally sweet without even adding anything to it. Um, you can add a little bit of sweetener, but then that way at least you're controlling that. And rooibos blends so well with so many different flavors. For example, I have one here. This is a jasmine rooibos. I love jasmine. So say someone loved um, jasmine pearls uh, tea, which is a, a green tea with little balls. Um, they might not want the caffeine, but they really want that jasmine flavor. This is a great way to, to experience that without having the caffeine, and it's from the rooibos, the red bush plant from South Africa. 
Uh, Roybus also blends beautifully with flavors like vanilla and chai. You can look on our Tea Queens website, which is teaqueens.com, and check out the Roybus page, and you'll be so surprised and delighted by all the different flavors that blend with Roybus. So I highly recommend it. Tea is such a healthy alternative. And then found in teas, true teas, like the, all the teas from the Camellia sinensis plant, so many wonderful antioxidants. It's truly, you know, there's been so many studies you can research on that, the benefits of drinking tea. So it's a, it's a great, great alternative to so many other beverages, and it's the second most popular beverage in the world. So you can't go wrong with, with tea. Um, so let me know if you do have any questions anytime. I'm here to help. Again, our website is uh, teaqueens.com. And people have asked me, well, Tammy, how do I buy from you? Do you have a page? It's quite different than my Neil's Yard Remedies page. There I have my own website. When you go to my link for Neil's Yard Remedies, um, which is us.nyrorganic.com backslash shop backslash Tammy Cole, that's my own page. So anything you buy from there, that gets credited right to me under my own account. Tea Queens is set up a little bit differently. You go to their main website and you browse and shop and put things in your cart. And then as you're putting things in your cart, if you scroll down a little bit, you'll see a prompt that asks you who your consultant was. And then there's a list of consultants and you basically just have to scroll down until you find my name and it's alphabetical by first name. So since my first name is Tammy, T-A-M-I, you have to scroll down quite a bit. But then there I am. Tammy Cole, K-O-W-A-L. So that's how, if you ever wanted to credit an order to me, that's how you would do it. And I would appreciate that very much. And if you ever have any problems with it and aren't able to do it, sometimes people have placed their order anyway and then they've contacted me and told me they weren't able to figure that out. And then I took care of it on the back end working with the wonderful home office team here in Seattle. Because Tea Queens is based right here in Seattle uh, out of the Queen Mary Tea Room. In, in Seattle. So it's really neat to know that there's an actual physical place that has been around since the 1980s and you can go there and have a beautiful cup of tea and a beautiful experience and they also have their Emporium nearby which is their shop where they sell all their teaware and everything and they've just been fabulous whenever I have any questions um, because they're right here and did you know that they do all the blending right here in Seattle? So the tea may come from the various parts of the world where it is best grown. They have wonderful relationships with their suppliers of the tea, um, but they do, when they make their own blends, that's done here in Seattle. And they actually, before they release a tea to anybody, to any customer, to the public, they make sure they get sign off on everybody at Queen Mary there. They all taste it, they, they do tea tastings, and they need to give it solid approval from everybody before they will release a tea. And I think that's why I've been so impressed with all the teas, because they've already passed stringent human testing, taste testing. <laughs> so. Uh, it's very well done. The other thing that I think is so unique is that each one of their tea canisters, which again I recommend because they're so airtight and keep your tea safe from sunlight too, each one has a different design. Excuse me, time for tea. I had a little tickle there, so tea will take care of that. Uh, anyway, each one has its own unique design and they're all designed by Queen Mary, Mary Gringo our founder and owner, and they're all so gorgeous and unique. So I've just enjoyed collecting these different tins, and you know, when I order them, I'm, I'm always wondering, what's the design going to be like? And every time I get a new one, I say, oh, this is my favorite, you know, and I said that about a different tea the week before. So that's true both for the contents within and for the design on the outside. Just really well done. All right, well this was a very impromptu video as my videos often are. I like to um, turn on the camera when inspiration hits. So I hope that you make some time for yourself today. I'm always promoting self-care and I think one of the best ways to do that is to just take some time to sit down and make yourself a nice cup of high quality loose leaf tea where you're actually steeping the tea leaves yourself and taking time to be mindful with that tea admire the beauty of it in every way with all of your senses 
with your eyes, how the tea looks, with your ears, how it sounds. And I, and I love using the auto tea brewer for that reason because it just makes the most delightful little trickling sound as the tea is steeping. Uh, with your sense of smell, to smell both the dry leaves and the wet leaves and the tea in your cup. And of course, with your sense of taste and even with your sense of touch as you're you know, warming your hands up on a cold, blustery day as it is here in Seattle. It is super cold out there. So I will have the tea flowing all day long. If you were to pop in at my house anytime today, there's gonna to be tea happening. <laughs> so hopefully you make that time for yourself today. All right, have a nice day. Take care, we'll see you next time. Bye.